Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I would like to say thank you for the introduction. Um, this is about how you know you're one of my favorites. Um, seventh grade, I, I can remember that like um, yesterday, coming in, him coming in, being the new person on the block. And he kind of, he tells the story, we did him bad, but he's still here. Um, and he's a part of who I am today. So, I, I see all the cups today and I see the graduates, but I was kind of cool to talk to the parents today. Um, I see a lot, I see the graduates, but I see a lot of younger kids that are here. So I kind of want to encourage you all as you all continue to go through this journey. All right. So I have a question. Who this summer started a garden? Whether it was a flower garden, vegetable garden, did you all do that right Okay. I see two, three, four. So we did. Um, my husband and I, we tried to start a garden. Um, we got some budgets that one of the teachers at the school brought us and um, we planted we started off with just flowers and they were blooming that were growing um, we were excited to wake up every day and see you know how they were flourishing so we started um, a vegetable garden and same thing it started flourishing um, and we even had our pepper plant to produce two small peppers <laughs> so, and that was good. We were excited about that. Yeah. Then we went on vacation for a week. And we came back from vacation and we know how hot it was um, the past week. And so when we got back, everything was dead. <laughs> and so, you know, the sun did what it was supposed to do. It came out and it shined, but we didn't we didn't water them. Um, and we didn't tell anyone to go by to water them. So I want to center my message today um, around watering. Amen. Okay, so I want to start first with W. And again, we're talking to the parents. So watch your actions. That's the first one. Yes. Um, our children are watching us. Everything we do, um, everything we say, whether it may look like it or it may not, we're watching. Um, as I've gotten married and moved into my house, I noticed I knew a lot of things like my mom. Um, the way she washed clothes, the tide, washing powder, um, the same brand of butter. You know, we do all of those things and we don't even realize um, that that's a part of us. But those things are harmless. But what about those things that are not so harmless? All right. um, those things that we do around our children um, or around other children that we don't want to, we don't want them to reflect. Right. So make sure that we're doing what we need to do yes. in front of our children. Um, and I have a scripture. We all know this one. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he would not depart from the Proverbs 22 and 6. But I want you to think about this one. Philippians 4 and 8. It says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. All right. So that was W. What was W? Wow. Wow. Watch your action. It's very good. Now we're on A. And A. Um, I'm very excited about this school year. Um, our leadership team got together. We had an admin retreat. And we got together. We talked about our students. We talked about our data. And we feel that we know how to give your children the best learning experience. You know what? That statement is false. That last part. We don't know how to give your child that very best learning experience. But you know what? You do. So it's important that you advocate for your kids. Um, we have an open house on August 3rd. And make sure that you come. Talk to your teachers. Talk to your parents. Because whether you know it or not, it's very important that teachers see those parent faces. And it's important that the students see that the teachers and the parents are on the same page. Okay. They'll work for 
relationship is very, so very important. Um, I have another scripture for you. It says, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Okay. For the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. Proverbs 31, 8 and 9. Yeah. So that was A. What was, what was W? Wow. Was A. Yeah. Very good. Now we're on T. Trust God and trust the process. Yeah. And I'm a quote person. I love words. I love quotes. Let me give you this one. It says, just because my path is different, it doesn't mean I'm lost. All right. We all want the best for our children, but know that the path to get there is not always easy. All right. Every single experience we go through is helping to shape who we will become. During my first year as a teacher, um, about seven, eight years ago, Armstrong Middle School in Starkville, I started in January. So when I came in, my kids thought that I was the sub. And so they were all. My class was all them. Um, I was this size, I've always been this size, and they're this size. So um, I had this one student, his name was Jason. And Jason, he would just terrorize the classroom. He would talk, um, he would play, just, just so rambunctious. I would have to call his parent every single day. Um, last year, um, I think a few of you all went to the uh, Black Lives Matter March in Starkville. He was one of the speakers. Um, he's now in college. That was his first year in college. And just knowing that that talkative sixth grader is now speaking up for his generation. Yeah. Yes. So we know that a lot of times in teachers in the room, we see those students I, a couple of my teachers here, we have those students that, that challenge us. But just look at their strengths. Look at um, what they're showing you and just try to pour into that because you never know what that will become. In all the ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3. And as I was writing my scriptures, I noticed that a lot of them came out of Proverbs. And I think it's very important, parents, that you study that book because it's, it is the book of wisdom. Amen. All right, so what was W? Watch. A? Yeah, T? Trust. And E is Evolve. Um, another quote, and this is by Elon Musk. Raise your hand, you know Elon Musk? Okay. He says, don't confuse schooling with education. I didn't go to Harvard, but the people that work for me did. So understanding that we all have different paths. Education is not where it is when we were growing up. Um, there are so many different avenues to gain understanding. We know, this is what my parents taught me, and I know a lot of um, parents taught you all, that you get the job, you stay in the job, you work hard, and you retire. But right now, it's really not the same. I read the stat, it said that Generation Zers, which is our students right here, would change jobs up to 10 times between the age of 18 and 34. And they, they can still be successful at all of those jobs. You may not want to stop those TikTok videos and those Instagram Reels. Because you have, you currently have children that are millionaires just off those platforms. Yeah. However, we must have wisdom and let our children explore those platforms. Listen to your children and pour into the areas that they are passionate about. Let me leave you with this scripture. The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge. For the ears of the wise seek it out. Proverbs 18.15. What was W? Watch. A. Heavenly. T. Trust. E. Love. And R is recognized. So we're going to recognize them. Um, in our schools, in our, a lot of schools um, in the district and really across the, the state are using a system called PBIS. And that's Positive Behavior Interventions and Support. And really that system is built around rewarding that
that positive behavior. You're not focused on the negative. Because a lot of times in the classrooms, you know, when we were in school, the students that got the most attention were those troublemakers. But really what we're trying to do now is look for those positive. Even if it's a hard look, we look for those positive and we acknowledge them. So how can you do this at home? Number one, create and follow basic routines. Number two, have fun together. Number three, provide clear expectations and follow through. Number four, practice healthy habits. Number five, praise good habits. And you can do this, for example, um, tell your child, thank you for putting away the trash after you ate your dinner. Or, I like the way that you completed your homework before you got on social media. Well, you know they don't go outside anymore, so we have to say social media. <laughs> um, number six, ask them, very important, ask them about their day once they make it home from school. And not only ask them, but ask them for, to see their work. Because it's very important that they know that you are going to ask them, that you're holding them accountable for what they're doing at school. So I know today that I focus on the parents, but encouraging students to honestly is going to take more than 10 minutes. I encourage you to plant your own garden and water your own soil instead of waiting on someone else to bring you flowers. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and flood upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon the seed and my blessing upon the upon the offspring. Isaiah forty four and three. Thank you.